Okay, so it looks like you've been relying a lot on your intuition. You may have gotten some kind of message or some kind of revelation coming in for you with this prophecy card. So, you know, you it's almost like you're going on your instincts in order for you to get through uh, whatever situation you're going through. You've been going out a lot as well because you've got the revelry and the social ritual card. So... Uh, you've been making, uh, you know, maybe a lot of new friends, making making a lot of social contacts, meeting a lot of people recently. So maybe your whatever work you're doing is making you um, go out a lot or meet a lot of people, um, come into contact with a lot of people. Or it could be just that, you know, you're getting together with old friends and socializing quite a bit. So, you know, you've been spending a lot of time uh, getting out there. So in the past, you've got the descent card over here. So you might have been involved in a relationship where somebody lied and cheated and betrayed you with this descent card. And this just led to you feeling really miserable and depressed. Uh, but it seems like things are changing for you. The fates, three fates are coming in over here. So this is like the wheel of fortune. So things have been turning into a favorable uh, way. And, you know, this is uh, maybe, you know, you've made new friends. And this is why you're now being able to get out there and socialize quite a bit. So going into the future, you've got the outrage card over here. So maybe some news coming in for you uh, that's going to be very upsetting. So it's going to make you a bit ups uh, angry about what had happened. Or uh, there's some kind of communication uh, coming in for you that's a, a little bit, um, you know, makes you angry upsetting a bit uh, and makes you withdraw a little bit as well. You've got the hearth card over here and this is spending some time reflecting about what's going on as well. So, you know, dealing with drama on your own terms as well. So whatever comes in over here might stir up a little bit of anger and a little upset because you can see this woman's with the outrage card is actually looking at this woman and she's standing amongst the flames and she's got flames in her, in her hands. So it's going to anger you. Whatever news is coming in over here is going to be really um, upsetting or it's going to make you very cross very angry about what is going on so try and keep calm count to 10 and come up with a plan about what you can do next it's very good to have a strategy when you're faced with uh, difficult news or difficult situations so those are the, that's the energies for those two weeks so i'm using the symbol on deck um, as the main read and this is not a tarot deck um, so it's not going to have the same symbology as the right away deck. Okay, so it looks like you and somebody else, um, maybe you have parted ways, you and your partner have parted ways, there's a breakdown in communication, there's been a lot of arguments, uh, you know, a lot of fighting, you're at a stalemate position and you are both standing your ground. It looks like the communication is cut, maybe there's some legal intervention as well, so you might be going through some kind of divorce or some kind of separation. Now, you are waiting for things to happen. It looks like, you know, it's it's been a very tiring situation. You're very, very upset about the whole situation. And you're isolating yourself. Uh, maybe this is the reason why you do need to get out there and make some friends. Um, you have been praying a lot. You've been asking for some divine guidance as well. Now, this cycle is coming to an end. Uh, and you can see there's meditation over here. So you've been spending a lot of time by yourself and also going deeply within to find the answers. So uh, trying to find that uh, root but spending a lot of time thinking very, very deeply. Now, that particular cycle is coming to an end. You've got that end of that old moon over there, and something new will begin. Uh, so you have been isolating yourself quite a bit. So um, in the past year or so, thinking a lot about the past, remembering a lot of events that happened, maybe looking to your childhood. This is the card of memory, and this is about remembering things that happened. Maybe being stuck too much in the past, and maybe you need to leave that energy behind to move forward. So it seems like you and this person have parted ways. You can see there's a separation. They've gone on their own way and you are going on your own way as well. So you're leaving the, uh, each other behind. And maybe this is, uh, that's why there's been a breakdown, a complete breakdown of communication. Maybe you felt that this person, because you've got that crusader card beneath this uh, separation card. It seems like maybe you felt that there was a lot of drama and this person was very, very aggressive. Maybe they were trying to, uh, you know, put their viewpoint on you and you were not happy with it. So you're trying to get yourself centered. You're trying to go back to, uh, you know, um, nature, caring for things. Uh, you know, you're investing more in yourself right now and you're looking, uh, you know, at the bigger picture as well. So this has been on your mind. 
So going into the future, you know, you've got this card about unrealistic expectations. This is having dreams about things and maybe maybe you think, uh, you know, this is what you want, but this might not be what you need. So it's, um, you know, whatever that situation was, you're trying to bring yourself or or, or get yourself out of this feeling of disempowerment. You're trying to get yourself back on track again. Uh, but, you know, it's taken its toll on you. You feel a bit defeated over here. But you have a new vision. You have an idea on how to bring yourself out. So you're trying to get, um, you know, your power back. You're trying to get yourself recovered from this particular uh, scenario that you went through. Whatever that relationship you were involved in, uh, was extremely negative, very toxic. This is the devil card being manipulated, uh, being chained to a situation and being, you know, verbally abused in this situation. And this is now coming to an end. You want to end the cycle. So you felt really very disempowered, uh, you know, very bullied, uh, you know, as though you couldn't make a move. And, you know, you felt like you were in the darkness as well. So uh, it looks like you are changing. You are letting go of the old situation. So this is leaving behind uh, a previous, um, you know, maybe an old home or a previous relationship and moving on, breaking free, uh, getting your freedom and moving on, uh, um, you know, flying away from this difficult situation and starting something brand new. You've got the new moon over here. So breaking out of that shell, breaking out of that restriction and moving on. What you want is a really good relationship where you and the person you know, connect with each other. Uh, you've got this Venus in Libra over here. So this is what you want. You want that soul connection with somebody. And this is what you're going for right now. So you have a new vision in mind. You are changing the way you think about things. So it looks like you might be getting some kind of spiritual advice from somebody uh, around you. This is, uh, you know, the card of going, a uh, confession card. So you might be talking to somebody, getting some advice, uh, even going back to your own traditional beliefs and getting advice from somebody who's a spiritual advisor or somebody that can give you advice, um, you know, uh, good uh, advice that you can follow. So you are going and you are speaking to somebody at the moment. And if you haven't, then that is what you need to do. Um, you know, it looks like um, it, you, this advice will, you need to, uh, this advice about this relationship. And maybe they will advise you on how you can actually, um, you know, move towards a more permanent relationship, um, you know, how you can attract a permanent relationship or the relationship that you want. Um, so you might even meet somebody new and end up, um, you know, forming some kind of permanent relationship with them. Uh, that coming in. There seems to be a lot of blessings coming in as well for you because this is like heaven sent blessings. So when you least expect it, there might, you know, maybe this relationship had to happen or maybe the break off. Uh, you had to break up with this person in order for you to open the door for a new relationship to come in. And this relationship that comes in might be, you know, divinely guided. So it might be exactly what you need. It's a very blessing and healing relationship that comes in. So you do need to ask for some advice. Uh, you know, you need to share your feelings. But it looks like there might be something new that comes your way. And it's going to be something that is uh, very divinely guided. So maybe all of this had to happen. You had to go through this these problems in order for you to get back on track, get the right relationship coming into your life again. So, you know, they say everything happens for a reason, and maybe this is why this had to happen. So, um, this is the uh, Archangel Power Tower. You've got the Ten of Raphael, which says, Love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members and happily happily ever after so it looks like you've ended a difficult relationship and it looks like there might be a new relationship that comes in the rainbow coming in after all the difficulties that you went through so whatever you've broken up whoever you've broken up with maybe that relationship had to come to an end in order for you to open the door for something new to come in and then you've got the solution card which says success that comes from objective compromise self-control and patience forgiving and healing energy so it looks like some balance is going to be restored into your life you've got um this is the temperance card and finding that balance and that healing back in your life again and you know getting back on track really you've got the five of michael over here says this situation doesn't serve you release your attachment from the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach so it looks like you know whatever you're going through whatever the situation whatever this relationship is that you're ending you need to do that because it's not serving you and once you do that it looks like there's going to be something that comes in and you're going to have a lot of blessings coming in you know uh, something good is going to be coming your way. So it is going to be opening the door for something better 
Uh, so don't be feel despondent. Even though you've ended something, something brand new is going to be coming your way. That is going to be better for you. Um, you know, it's going to serve your higher purpose. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.